Hello! So I am back with another workout video. You guys requested my favorite ab exercises. So I have to say, I actually love working out my abs. It's one of my favorites. I feel like I see results pretty quickly, but I also feel like it's the area where like if my diet goes off track or I'm not eating correctly, I blow it right away. So I have like a love-hate relationship with it. And I wanted to do this first, but it is the last video I'm shooting today. And I had lunch, so now I'm like, uh, why did I do that? My abs are always a work in progress. You know, I'm in my 40s, I had a kid, I had to have a C-section. So it's been a struggle, but they're stronger than they've ever been. And I definitely think doing Pilates three times a week helps. My trainer has me do some awesome ab exercises, most of which I love. The only ones I really hate that he makes me do are the mountain climbers. I don't like mountain climbers. <sighs> Probably because it's like reminds me of like HIIT training and I hate HIIT training, <laughs> but I know it's good for you. So with that being said, let's get into my top five ab exercises. All right. So, don't get the wrong idea here. I'm getting in position for mountain climbers. So we usually go for timed for these and we'll do like anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds and it's miserable and I hate it and we'll do three or four sets. And you know, you wanna get in position and there's several ways. Um, you can just go straight, you know, you just, it's a little harder on here. You can crisscross. <laughs> And you just keep going. So another one I enjoy doing because it works um, your lower abs is leg lifts. You can do several variations of these. You can do one leg at a time. You can do both. You can use weights, so I'm gonna show you. Okay, so for leg lifts, you know, you can alternate. Or you can do two at a time, which is how I prefer to do them. And you can even go around in circles. And so with these, you can make it harder Hold your, you know, always don't hyperextend your neck. Or you can lower down if you want and just do it this way. And of course, you gotta go both ways. You can't just go one way. But I like to challenge myself. You can also hold weights if you want. And you can work your upper body. And you can do like, You know, I'm not holding weight, so it's harder to do. But um, like I said, these work your lower abs and they don't look hard, but by the third or fourth set, trust me, they are. <laughs> and you can hold it down and count to like 30 or 60 seconds. Good times, good times. <laughs> Don't forget to stay hydrated during your workout by drinking water or some BCAs. I usually have those when I'm in the gym since I'm just doing a quick ab workout for y'all. I don't have my BCAs. Obviously, you know, eat or drink before your workout. Eat um, before your workouts. If I've already had my breakfast, but I need something to fuel me like quickly before my workout, um, and I don't have time to di digest, say, oatmeal or something like that. I usually do a banana and peanut butter or an apple or pe and peanut butter. I don't do bars and I don't do shakes right before working out unless I have like two hours to digest. Otherwise, I feel like it, I feel heavy and sluggish, but that's just me. Like smoothies are usually post-workout for me. That's just, I can't do anything too heavy before I work out. And I usually work out in the morning though. I'm one of those people that if I have not worked out by 11 a.m., it's just not going to happen. But anyways, we're going to move on to one of my favorite 
ab exercises, which I have a complete love-hate relationship with, but I think they're amazing. And it is the Russian twist with a medicine ball. Love it, love it, love it. Um, you can feel it right away. And it's one of my favorite exercises to target the obliques. So if you've never done these before, I do them, you know, like this. It helps if you squeeze your lips together. But if you've never done them, start by getting used to it and just put your heels down and just get used to going side and you'll still feel it. If you've never done them, you know, you just go side to side, touch it. And at first, you know, it might be hard when you've got your legs in tabletop, you might not be able to touch at first, but I promise you'll get there. And I usually do 10 per side with either three or four reps. <laughs> and the first two rounds, I'm like, I got this. By round three, I'm like, <sighs> by round four, I'm dead. And I usually end up like this. And then I'm like, I'm done. Just leave me here. <laughs> but um, they're great. They're so good. You will feel it, especially if you've never done you'll be so like you'll feel it in your obliques it's that good kind of sore so for the russian twist ideally you would use a weighted medicine ball but if you don't have that and you have um dumbbells you can hold a dumbbell or you can use a plate i haven't tried it with a kettlebell but i don't see why you couldn't use a kettlebell you basically just want weight and i do anywhere from eight to ten pounds but yeah it's just you want something weighted to make it tougher basically that's all it is so one of my favorite ab exercises ever is the plank just because there's so many variations of the plank and you can make it well I hate to say easy because I don't think a plank is ever easy but you can make it a little challenging to really challenging you can modify it it's just such a great ab exercise it and I think it's one of those where you see progress really fast and it's exciting to be able to see yourself go up in time you know like you start with 30 seconds and you can move up to like a two minute plank and you're like wow I can do this now so that's when you start doing like the harder variations so your standard plank and I hate that I don't have a mirror so I hope my form is gonna be good on this um, you want to like, you know, tuck in because you want your ab to be tucked in. So you tuck in, you know, I don't know if you can see that. So you scoop. So you scoop it. You hold, you know, you scoop your abs in and then you get up and you want to not too high. And your standard, I think you just stay like this. Um, you can rock and do a rocking plank. you can do a one-legged and then switch. And if you've never done it, you can start here just to see, to get, I'm sorry, you can start not on your knees, you get down like this, you can do it on your elbows and then you just lift like here and you can still rock make it harder so you can start this way and then you can still you know do the one-legged um, and certain you will feel like my abs are already shaking just because I did abs yesterday it's tough it looks easy it's not so you can also do a side plank I'm gonna I'm not really I'm not gonna lie side planks are not like they're hard for me I have to do it like this. I can't do it with a straight arm. And then you can dip. It's another really good exercise. Last but certainly not least, I love using my exercise ball to do ab exercises. And I know I said my top five, but I think I'm gonna give you a couple on this because you can use it for so much. And I really do enjoy doing ab exercises with this. So this one's the stir the pot and you basically are like 
going in a circle. You're stirring the pot. And this is one that I hate, 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 hate. My trainer makes me do that. And this actually, I need more air in this ball. So you go both ways, then you have to, so you're in a plank, of course, and then you have to go back the other way. And if you can make bigger circles than me, more power to you. <laughs> um, that is the one I hate. Now I'm gonna show you ones that I actually love doing with the exercise ball. So it's like the ball pass. Um, so you basically go like, That one's fun, but it's tougher than it looks, I promise. Oh, let me see if I can do this one. All right, well, that is the wrap on my ab workout. There's so much more than you can do. Um, but those are the ones I do regularly. And then of course there's Pilates, but I wanna know what your favorite ab exercises are. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you don't miss any of my other videos. And I think I covered my workouts. But if there's any other workouts you'd like to see, let me know, comment down below, and I will see you next time. Bye.